Welcome back. Um, in the last tutorial, we've been having some texture in, uh, issues, and the reason for that is because I had this as vertex one, and in reality, this should have been texture one, being these you know the vertices that's being read from the texture. And if you you know, and then there you go, it's correct or should be, if you followed along. <laughs> okay. Now that we have that fi uh, figured out, we can just go ahead and play around with it. You know, set that to half instead. And then you see the dude, the one side of the dude's face is stretched. Pretty cool. Let me set that back. I want to go ahead and talk about ambient lighting and background lighting real fast. Um, but beforehand, I want to set this to 1, 1, 1. Just being white, you know, regular white square. And if you notice, look at that. The dude is in regular color. We made it in black and white. Um, so let's talk about ambient lighting and background color. Background color is pretty simple. It lets you define your own color, or your own background color. So let's say we wanted a green background, remember red, green, blue. So we're saying 0% red, 100% green, 0% blue. You run it, and you should have a green background with the dude smiling. Now we don't have to draw a giant green quad in the back. Now I also want to talk about ambient lighting. Same concept, only a set ambient lighting instead of set ambient color. And if you wanted to, this tells you how much your objects are dimmed or not. I don't know. So it says set ambient lighting wasn't declared. And I know that is incorrect. So let's go and let's see what it is. Um, hold on, let me just go to recent projects. Draw lighting. You should not have this. So set ambient light. Okay, that's simple enough. And then boom, notice that your image is dimmer. If you wanted to see more results, you could set that to 25 each. Notice as it is very dimmer, but the ambient, like the background, stays the same. And that way, like if you wanted to, you could make it a very dark and stormy, you know, background settings so let's just say that that and that oh okay, okay. see it's almost as if it's in a storm you know you have a gray background or whatever and then this dude's face is like darker now if you wanted to you could take it one step further and you can say so for ambient lighting I want one 100% red where everything else dim. So the dudes in like, I don't know, something that's making his face red. Um, I'm gonna pause real fast. Okay. Um, and then, you know, you make it so his face is like red or whatever. Notice as this is one and a half, that's just supposed to be one. You can make it a little darker so it's like a little bit more menacing or whatever. Like that. I do also want to show you something else. So you know that that's all cool and stuff. You can also have a quad take more than one color as a parameter. 
and I will show you how that is done. I think that will probably be good. Again, you can play around with this stuff, but if you copy down the code, you should see how it works. I'm going to get rid of this, and all you have to do is, well, first off, let's rename this to quad. And let's rename this dude to quad, so you, you know it's a little bit easier. All you have to do is set red, red 1, red 2, red 3. Watch what happens. The dude looks even more menacing. You see red on the bottom and white on the top. That's basically how it's done. You want to run it again. You know, you see red down here, white on the top. Um, not really much else to say. Other than you can also have two maybe i don't know okay so maybe you can't have two maybe i got rid of that um this just i mean you know now you know how the library works basically you know how to enable opengl you know how to build a frame you know how to set current text or something you know how to handle input this is always needed in your loop you know how to draw you know begin so like as soon as you're about to begin to draw something, call that, and it'll draw end, which means stop the drawing routine, and draw quad, or draw triangle, just draws the quad or triangle. You know how to do input, it's the same for any other key, so if I wanted to make it so you had to press return instead, to exit, just press enter, and there. I mean, now you know how the library works, you know how to use it. Now we can begin by using this to make our own game. There's a few more things we're going to want to know, which is like a camera object. But like, I don't think that beyond camera and maybe vertex group, I feel like that we are prepared to make our own game. And we will begin in our next tutorial, probably starting tomorrow. I don't know, it depends. Um... Depends how busy I am. I'm probably going to do some other tutorials real fast before I go night night or something. But until then, I will see you later.